What going on everybody? Today we're doing an epic river adventure. There's somebody's birthday, they're cooking on the river and we're about to invade the party. Check out what they're cooking. I hear they're cooking on a hillside. It's right on the river, on the river gully side and they're cooking right there. Below is the river and it's bombs down into a beautiful, beautiful place. So we're here to check out the stew pork. I hear them have chicken, not jerk chicken this time. It's actually grilled chicken. And I hear it's full of flavor, full of niceness. And there's a little barbecue sauce to go on it. So not the typical Jamaican food that we usually get. Here there is even pasta. And them tell me one fancy name like Zeti Fee Pasta. So see so what I go on with it. <laughs> Very tricky to come across this a whole long time, and then the food is cooking over there. Vegetable soup, crayfish, crayfish soup, pork, 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 pork. and jerk, jerk yeah, chicken. Yeah, man. All right, I eat man. I eat that. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. One of them crayfish soup, the right now. One of my favorite soups is crayfish soup. Literally on the hillside of here, then set up the fire. The river is down there, so. And everybody partying. Wow. Well, just catch up on that. Let me know. I beat one, I teach one. As a beat when I teach one. Yeah, man. Chop it up and then right back to the grill. The smoke on that is heavy. The smell of it is amazing. You can hear the crisp on it. Just a cookout. Just a whirlwind of smoke coming out. It's like a smoke type spoon coming off of the chicken. The smell is amazing. That jerk flavor just inviting you right into that pot. You want to pick up some with your finger and just dive right in. Yo! Wow. Beautiful. That well soaked. Look at the season crusted onto that. Literally, I've taken season off and put it on. Give it a little shake and give it a spot. That claw, they can actually high five it. Mm, intense. You're getting, I can hear rain grind, but I'm getting a really nice crayfish flavor for that. There's different types of food in there, like dasheen, but like a little some yam and corn. There's corn flavor in there because you can tell they put corn in the soup. So the corn and the shrimp, the crayfish, it's predominant in the flavor, but really nice, really good base, really good thickness. The, the consistency of it is very nice because it's not drawn down like a watery soup or a crayfish tea. It's more real soup, real hearty, real nice. Mm. And you know, once you get closer to the bottom of that, it just went picking up. It was claws sticking out. The trademark look of crayfish soup so I'm literally catched on the hillside with this crepe soup. Once you see this and you see that high five coming, you know that's, that means when you see the crayfish like this and you see it popping out of you, that crayfish means I'm here to party and I'm here to party with you. As Ryan would say, um, 
Mmm. The meat is so sweet. I'm getting the flavor of the soup inside. I'm getting the corn. It seems like I get like a maggie. <laughs> no good in there, don't. But the invasive species not grown in Jamaica has taken over our rivers. It's more like crawfish than swims or swimmers. And then corn. This is what added the flavor. Then you add corn to soup, the, the corn kind of takes over the soup in somewhat. It gives it a, so you have to be careful when you're adding corn to the soup. Mm -mm. That's not a usual dry corn what we use on them. Kind of sweet. Mm. And there you have it. <laughs> so this part is literally on the river and the cooking on the hillside. There's no maid kitchen, it's just a kitchen that's set up. Pui type of vibe, country vibe that we love. And then you literally have the river walking beside. Right here. Look at that, how beautiful is that? Right now, Monday, feel like I got chuck off in that right now. Just lie down in there and do some angels in the river. Woo! And around here actually cooler than up, so oh, maybe I was on the fire side. But careful. this is actually, you telling me to be careful, honey? Boy, mm -mm, it's romantic. <laughs> Look at that bird. Boy, it's like a whole little tropical rainforest. Holy crap! What? What? Blood? No, nah, brother. No, yo. I look at Jamaica Food Tours new venue. <laughs> Oh man, I am I'm going for a swim. I'm definitely going for a swim. You wanna wanna see? You're sure you wanna see because all of my foreign friends out there, I apologize for doing this to you. I really am sorry for this. But take a look at this. No, it's over there. Hopefully, I can zoom into it. That's a bird. I want to be like, shh, 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 shh. come. I saw others down there. Come here, doctor. I actually know. I don't want to see a doctor anytime soon again. We can do a nice soup pot. Are the soup pot going now? Mm. Oh, this smells amazing. Is what kind of barbecue? Are you met the barbecue sauce? Yes. You can smell the tanginess of it. Mm, smoke from the jerk chicken too. You can smell the smoke from here. Also. And the poor pork, yes, stew pork. Yeah, man, stew pork, man. See, eh? mm. Real stew pork. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. You can smell. So you put some nice seasoning in that, that. Yeah, that man. has soap from when? Real stew pork, man. Yeah, man. I eat fun.
this is probably one of the most scenic places I ever tasted. But this is the chicken. Mm. Heavy. Heavy on the smoke. Really nice smoke flavor. Very, very mellow. Not really jerk, it's like grilled chicken. Mm -hmm. Nice to season. It's not jerk chicken. It's barbecue chicken. That light coat of barbecue gives it really nice acidity and that sweetness of the sauce. But it's very light. It's not overpowering and it's not sticky with it. I sometimes like my barbecue to be sticky and just drenched on, but this is just lightly smothered on and giving you know, that nice chicken flavor. But the real star of the show in this is the flavor of smoke. The smoke is just encased and wrapped around every pasta that meat. It's just mm, smoky. That's something different. Well, I'm um, jerk chicken and different types of chicken, but to infuse it with smoke, get that nice seasoning rub in there, that garlic, that thyme, the onion, you know the Jamaican seasoning blend, mix that up. We saw it soaking in the bucket and then to the grill after that. And once that grill opened up, the amount of smoke, that typhoon, that hurricane, that whirlwind of just smoke flavor has just completely wrapped around the chicken and infused it probably right down to the bone. You know me after find a little side catch. Come on, try some of this, especially that stew pork that we saw in the pot. It looked like it, oh, it really literally just melts away. Look at that, it really just falls off the bone. Oh, that's seasoned, woo! Very nice this season. I mean, everything so far has been really nice this season. The chicken had a lot of smoke in it, but this, Mm. Stew pork is the normal. Stew pork the bad. See my wife know me you know. This is why the stew pork so bad. I got a rib. Or a riblet, whatever you want to call it. But that rib has a lot of the flavor of the meat and the bone. Mm. Woo. You're getting immense flavor from the seasoning that's gone in there. There's a little bit of garlic, the onion, all of that has cooked down and soaked right through, right down into it. You know that it's a long, slow cooking process because it's falling off of the bone, like melting away, and it just melts in your mouth as soon as you taste it. That pork meat, it disintegrates. It becomes just like a nice juicy piece of succulent meat that just corresponds well with all the flavors that have been put in it from the pot and that smoke. We always tell you that when you put cooking and you're using a wood fire that smoke infuses the pot and I'm getting a hint of that in here as well. So compliments to the chef on the pork. Sue pork is very well flavored. This, this is not fast food that put together just so. This is food that you should have took the time when this is a private event. It's and to up her birthday and them have to she will raise backside if them do, do a rotty job and put them foot in the food I can tell you that so mm. wow my country self now so I'm going up there go and get some pasta my uh, mother says Zeti so I say steam or Zeti No pasta and meat sauce at that bit of riverside out in the bush with bossy. <laughs> well nice. They have some pasta right here. And the meat sauce. Flavor and flavor. Sweetness in the meat sauce as well. And it's like sausage or chunks of meat that's in there. Mm. And of course, a whole lot of escovich fish. Whole of fish. Mm. Come on. That's penny. 
You know you don't go in. Hi, Rain. Rain is taking my hand. Sorry, Auntie. Sorry. Yeah, how is it? Lovely. <laughs>